Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming another clothing haul. It feels like ages since I've done one of these but I looked and it's only been like a month since my last one. I've just managed to buy quite a lot so I'm going to show you what I've bought today. It's all kind of like autumn based. We are going into that period of time where I buy way too many jumpers for my own good and yeah hope you enjoy this is going to be a try on haul as usual and all the links to everything will be down in the description as well if you want to go and check them out for yourself okay so i'm gonna get straight into it and the first lot of things is from asos so the first thing we have here you may have seen if you follow me on instagram username here uh and it is this wrangler jumper which i just hit myself in the face with uh wrangler I don't know how you say that brand but yeah it's this really nice turquoise colour and it is a hoodie and the hood is actually massive um I'll show you in the try on clip but yeah I got this in like a size medium or something so I want it to be quite oversized and as you can see it is a very wide jumper but I really like the combination of the green and then the pink it just says the new wave is the old wave and it just looks quite cool and I feel like this uh, colour, there's something about it that suits me. Uh, I never normally wear green but kind of turquoisey greens like this do work well with blonde hair I found. So the next thing is also a very bright colour. I assure you not all things are this bright <laughs> in this haul but next we have this bright orange fleece and this is also from ASOS and it is from North Face. I don't know how I feel about North Face. I thought that it was kind of like a hiking brand, like a dad's wore it, but now it's kind of turned into a streetwear brand, hasn't it? So there we go, we have a North Face fleece, but I just love the colour of this and I love a kind of half sip design. So yeah, this is so soft as well. I've had to roll the sleeves up a bit because it is quite baggy, but I like my jumpers and sweatshirts and things like this to be slightly baggier and yeah would really recommend this they also have one in white which i'm tempted to get but also know i would get so dirty so quickly so we might just stick to bright orange and once again i feel like this color also works with blonde hair so next we have a another hoodie and this one is from asos men's section that north face one is also apparently men's but I did buy it in the women's section, so who knows? It doesn't really fuss me. This one is actually from the men's section, though. And it's just this really oversized, well, really oversized for me because it's men's, NASA hoodie. So it just says NASA and what it stands for there. And it's just white. This is ASOS own brand, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's just a big white hoodie. I'm not quite sure why I did that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it is really cosy because it's so oversized but it's not a really thick hoodie so like you can wear it without getting ridiculously sweaty uh in these kind of like in between months where some days it's hot some days it's cold and yeah not quite sure how I haven't managed to get this completely filthy yet but I'm sure as time will go on it will get increasingly dirty so I'll update you on that oh also forgot to show you it does say United States down the sleeve if I if it will unfold also it's long enough to wear leggings underneath which is great because I just have a weird thing about like covering my bum when I'm wearing leggings not to the gym but in general also talking of the gym uh, I have recently joined the gym and therefore have bought quite a lot of gym clothes recently they're not in this clothing haul just because I was wondering do you guys want a whole separate video on gym wear so a gym wear haul because I've bought quite a few bits recently from H&M, Primark, ASOS, places like that so if you want to see that in a separate video then let me know because I'll be happy to film that because there's quite a lot for me to all shove it in this haul like half of this haul would be gym wear if I put it all in so let me know down below in the comments if that's something you would be interested in seeing. Next we have a pair of jeans actually and I have been wearing these jeans non-stop since I got them. They're a pair of mum jeans or mom jeans and I've been on a hunt for a pair that fit me for ages but I find it so hard to get ones that fit me because my body proportions are a bit weird like my waist is quite small like just average size 
and I have no hips but I then have a bum so like things don't ever fit right <laughs> on me also I've got quite muscular thigh not thighs what are they called carbs they're called calves I have quite muscular calves so things often fit me really weirdly but anyway these are from ASOS and they are the brand monkey and they're this mum jean style they look really creased but when you have them on they're fine but they look huge <laughs> on camera but that's just because like they're quite like a balloony leg if that makes sense um but they're a size 28 waist if you're wondering if your proportions are a bit like me and yeah been loving these and I just think they make every outfit just look cool I'm sure you'll see them styled throughout this whole video but yeah I love those and I think they were only like I don't know why I keep slinging everything over my shoulder anyway um I think they're like the same price as Topshop ones so kind of pricey for jeans but not as pricey as you could go for jeans if that makes sense next we also have some more denim and if you watched my weekend outfits video then you will have seen this already because it's quite a statement piece but it is a pair of dungarees this is going to be impossible for me to show you <laughs> on camera but i also got these from asos and these were in the sale when i got them so i don't know if they'll still be there but i will have a look for you and uh, they are by dr denim I think it says and yeah they're just this darker denim which I quite like and they go all the way down they're kind of tight on the leg but also kind of like a mom jean fit so it's quite nice but then it's got belt loops here so I can proper cinch it in at the waist and obviously the bit at the top and I just really like these I, I'm not gonna lie I haven't worn them a lot uh, I wore them for that video I've worn them to sick form a couple times but that's about it in the space of a month so I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of these but they look blooming cool when you do wear them. <laughs> Next I have another bright orange piece actually. There's something about orange that I really like, I don't know what, but this is just a t-shirt and it's a Nike t-shirt and it's just this really soft fabric and this orange colour. Not quite sure why I bought this for this season particularly, I think I just really liked it on the website but I haven't worn it since I've got it because it's just too cold at the moment to just be out in a short sleeve t-shirt and I could wear it with other things but then I feel like orange is a hard colour to pair things with and I wear orange colours like this with denim so then I can't wear a denim jacket and I'm not really sure on like orange and black denim together so it's just of a bit it's just a bit of a weird one but when we get to summer or warmer weather in general when I go on holiday this is going to be perfect and once again love the colour I think I've already said that but yeah okay next we have a pair of trousers recently I've been wearing denim a lot more like I went through phases with bottoms like I wore jeans for years and years and years and years and then I had a phase kind of in the last year or so where I literally only wore trousers but now I've kind of converted back to denim again. But I have bought a few new pairs of trousers because I still do love me a trouser. And the first one is this one from ASOS. And it's just these wide leg, um, like down the side striped trousers. Black trousers, I don't really know what else to say. They've got a really nice drawstring waist and the fabric is actually really soft. Do mind how uh, creased it is, but yeah really like these and they are literally perfect for sick form because they are so comfy they are quite thin so not the warmest wear ever but do really like these and they're just a really nice casual piece to wear next another pair of trousers these ones are from stradivarius stradivarius I never really know how to say that brand but I got these when I was in Spain but I have seen them on the website so I will look, link uh, blah, blah, blah. so I will link them down below in the description and they are just this grey striped pair once again they've got a really nice elastic waist which I love because then you can wear them when you go out to eat food and you can expand and not worry about it so love these they also have pockets which is great and the material is so thick and lovely like it feels like joggers but they're trousers which is great and they're just kind of like a tapered leg like this you'll see it better in the try on clip but yeah 
really like those. Uh, okay, we're getting on to the last few pieces now. The next one is a, another jumper. This one is from Pull and Bear. And this one is just a really boxy kind of fit with a raw hem, which I'm not a massive fan of because I don't know if you can see that or not, but because it's a raw hem, it rolls a lot. But I do really like the design. I like how it's so boxy and the sleeves are so baggy and this just looks cool with those mom jeans. And yeah, it's just a good outfit. And this is from Pull and Bear. I also got this in Spain, but I also have seen it on the website. So don't you fear. Next is a sweatshirt and this is from the brand Bershka. And you have probably definitely seen this in a video because I've I wore it in the weekend outfits. I've also worn it in a video since then, so you've definitely seen this somewhere. And it's just this sweatshirt like this. So it has a half zip up thing like that, and then a rainbow that goes across the front and down the sleeves. This gives me major PE teacher vibes, but I do love it. And I think it's really nice, like the grey and the silver and the rainbow, you know. It's just my kind of vibe, and once again with jeans i wore this today with those mom jeans and then also this belt that i'm about to show you so just you wait for that but yeah really like this one i keep saying i really like it if i didn't like it i wouldn't have bought it so i don't know why i keep saying that but anyway gray sweatshirt from bershka and i actually got this in a size large if you're wondering uh just because i want it to be quite oversized and baggy okay now i may as well show you that belt that i just gave you a sneak preview of and this is my new favorite belt ever it is from river island and because of that it was fairly expensive i think it's about 14 quid i mean that might not be expensive to you but that's expensive to me and yeah it's just this leopard print uh kind of design and it's a little bit furry as well they had another one in there that was like literally made of like pony fur it felt like pony fur i don't know if you know what i mean or not but yeah this one is just like a faux fluffy thing it's not really fluffy it's just like kind of felt feeling i don't know why i'm telling you this anyway but yeah it's just got two gold circles at the front like this and i love this so much it just adds something extra to every outfit and it goes with most things surprisingly although i pair it with most things i don't know if you think it goes with most things but i do and yeah really been enjoying wearing this then i have another belt this one I literally don't have anything to say about it. I got it from Primark and it's just white or like a creamy colour with some silver detailing on it like that. And I got this in a size small, but it's still too big for me. So I had to DIY a hole in it myself, which uh, I did an all right job of, to be fair. I mean, you might say differently, but I thought I did an all right job to say I'm rubbish at DIY. So yeah, just thought it'd be good to have a white belt because I... I have a black one i have a leopard one but i don't have a white one and also i really like the silver on this because i obviously wear a lot of silver jewelry but then most um belts and things and bags have gold on them which not a massive fan of so i liked how this one had silver on it okay the last item is a pair of shoes and these are my new favorite thing ever so these are the nike air force jesters x x or something I don't really know but they just look like this they're a take on the air force so as you can see they are slightly different they have a bigger platform and then instead of the tick being there it's down there so yeah i just think they're super cool i love them guaranteed they were expensive but as you can see i've literally been wearing them non-stop hence why they look a bit grubby i've had them for less than a month but I can guarantee I will be wearing them most days and they are so comfy as well. Normally my feet get literally torn up by most new shoes. It takes me ages to break into new shoes but with these ones I did not have that problem. I don't know if it's because they are really cushioned like this whole platform is like cushiony or what but I haven't had a problem with them. They are literally my comfiest shoes and I love them so much so would very much recommend these also if you love a platform i do love a platform they just look cool don't they they're just a little bit different to the normal air forces that everyone has so yeah would recommend these they also have some like cool colored ones with like red 
soles and the tick and blue soles and the ticks so I will link them down below for you and I have these in a size 6 if you're wondering I don't know why I'm showing you the sole that's really grubby okay so that was everything that I have to show you today I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to like subscribe and follow my social media which will be linked down below in the description bye guys